Hey guys, so welcome back to another video. And today I'm just going to share a quick little tip with you for counting calories. I had some problems in the past while counting some calories and getting into some like sweet stuff, some unhealthy stuff when counting my calories. And I wasn't really focusing on that that much because, well, I was like, I can eat that. Come on, it has like 300 calories. And later on, I found out that that food had actually like 600 to 800 calories. And I didn't just know because instead of thinking, oh, those are just carbs, those were actually fats. And fats have double the amount of calories that carbs do, which was quite a problem because I couldn't just look it up. I discovered I actually can using one of these calorie counting apps that you see all around the internet. For example, I use my fitness pole because I think it has the biggest library of foods that are already on the app and you don't have to add them yourself and if you do then you can just simply scan the EN code on any food or anything else you want to eat pretty much and it will just count the calories from the label right into the app which is absolutely amazing and really convenient like for example when I was first looking at some foods in our local supermarkets here in Slovakia I couldn't find most of those like translated the name of the whole item and then put them into apps. I couldn't find that. But when I actually scanned the code, it just took the nutritional facts, gave it a random name and just counted it to my daily total. And the biggest benefit that I found using these apps is simply that you cannot find everything. You can just find the basic things. And usually the basic things are the most healthy things because you're supposed to eat in the most basic way possible. Not all of these overprocessed foods, all of these overprocessed sweets and stuff like that. You're just supposed to eat uh, really healthy. Like for example, I had 50 grams of lettuce for breakfast and 50 grams of carrots and you're just supposed to put those in instead of putting oh i had a chocolate cake with this 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 and this well that's just unnecessary and it's just extra calories that you know are unhealthy for you so when i go for example on a party or a celebration of someone's birthday then I know I can't eat those sweet cakes and things like that because, well, I can't put them into my app. And I know it will bug me that I ate something and I didn't put it into the app. Because later on, the app gives you a graph of your total calories over a period of time. And when you see those dips in that graph, you think, oh, I did really good on that day. And you look at the date that was Uncle John's birthday and you know you ate all of that cake. That was just a quick tip to help you deal with your calories. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.